early bird gets the worm, man. A little colder out this time around. Our Saturday's slower because the last couple of times there's like six other people, seven other people out here in yeah. the morning. Really? Yeah, we've done one. I, I've done two. This is my second one, but the first one was like three or four years ago. It was pretty slow. Yeah, I got a box of Christmas here. Right? Oh, that's perfect. Pretty decent stuff. Probably got to wait. <laughs> All right, this is the first pile. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's those cars there. I don't. Cool. Yeah, I'll dig through. Yeah. You know, like stuff like these gold discos, they, they go like, it's his what, third year or so, they go perfect in a $2 box and oh, they yeah. just go like yeah. hotcakes. There's a lot, a lot of that top loaded stuff. Yeah. Stuff. Is there autos and stuff in here? Or There's just... a little section, I can't remember where, but Kay. you'll find a chunk in there. Okay. A lot of $1, there might be some yeah, these are, $5 or $10 ones. These are good for a value box. I'm gonna have to get a. I'm gonna have to get another table at the next card show for you because you guys. <laughs> Let's just all end up buying it. I'm just gonna sit it okay. on top of this too. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll figure it out at the end. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. I think there's one Apple Watch in there. Yeah, I saw it. Have you tried ever turning it on or charging it? That's, uh, it was mine. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. So it, it still works? It works, cool. yeah. You have any other old stuff like this? That uh, Apple stuff like that. It is that. sells, oh, okay. And then we do have this first generation shuffle. Let's see if this still sells. I don't. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was like this. Did you plug this into a computer? That or? might be older than you. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first, first one. So we've been buying storage units a lot. <coughs> That's a, uh, Amari. Is it? Yeah. Amari Sotomayor. Oh really? Brand new with tags. Really? Which is this? It's got like the, the leather cleaner in it. A couple bucks. Yeah. Um. If it sells for like fifteen to twenty for me, I'd give you a few bucks for it. Uh, no, just. <coughs> it's five of pair. Yeah. <coughs> These came from the storage unit too. Yeah. Now that one there, I think. Yeah. You can make some money on. I uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to sell these because like the last ones on these are like January sales, so. We can knock. Them but yeah, them if I buy a bunch of yeah. them, if I bought like six of these, I mean, how much? I just have to look at the price. Yeah. Tell me. <coughs> you, you you have to make money, so. Yeah, that's. I I don't want to shoot you with like a low ball well, offer though. Well, just be fair. Whatever you think you can make money with. I think I can make money at a few hundred bucks. But I get. I mean, I get yeah. it. I know. Yeah, we got change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Without the Mickey. Seven Ow. without. Four hundred bucks. I do four with it. As mm -hmm. some, as some, like, cause my, uh, the way I do it is I would sell like three or four of them. I make my money back, oh, and then yeah. I make money on the other two Absolutely. or three. Yeah. Um. I go from buying sports cards to purses. <laughs> hey, like, we're not complaining. Yeah. Hey, we're, we're doing the same. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you have any Sony stuff by chance? Sony. I see like a lot of Kodaks in here. And... Yeah, it's kind of Yep, I got gotcha. you. What do you think? That's fair. Okay. Good deal. <coughs> are those for sale? Or are those you? Oh, yeah, yeah we just I, I literally up. just walked in and saw those ones. I don't, we haven't really looked them up. Yeah. Are you just Sony, you said, or? Oh, uh, what What are the other ones? Canon. Canon's good. 
I'm gonna say the majority of those were Sony. I know some of so these. The Do you know if any of them work or are they untested? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I, just took them I get it. Yeah, I'm good on this one. How much for those though? I don't know. At least eight or nine hundred. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, two, three, four, five, six cameras, twenty bucks. Fair. I think so. That's cool. Okay. So we're at five with this stuff, five, and then I've got yeah. another pile. Well, I'll get I'll get a tote at cool. five hundred. Cool. Sweet. Um, so this. So you were at fifty-five, and then you wanted this. Yep, sixty-five. Okay, I'm cool 65. with that price. Okay. Yeah, you're good. I'll, if there has, well, we can keep adding the other. Yeah. I was gonna say on the the pants, is it okay since I got so many? If we do three a pair, yeah, that's okay. kind of where we've been selling, especially these colored ones. Yeah, you can have that. So eleven, twelve. Okay. So that's twelve. 30, we'll say thirty-five. Okay. What do you want? Two bucks. It's cool. So it's thirty-five, thirty-seven, two, two sixty-five. A pop. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay. A couple bucks a pop on those. Um, just make it 105, yeah, so okay. three bucks. And then is there anything else in that bucket? That's empty on that. Okay, we already added this we in. Added that, yep. Um, and then we got you at 500 on this. Okay, plus 500. Is there anything <coughs> else that's that I grabbed? 505. I thought he had more stuff. Me too. Did he have the box behind you? Oh, yeah, he got it. It was mostly all the jeans. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Color for each day. <laughs> I'm not wearing them. So it's going to go to a loving home, though. <laughs> Any other curling irons? Uh, I don't think so. I know we had some, but I don't think we're doing more. Harry, you want this? Sir? Talking about chopper. You, uh... So, that's cool. You can have it if you want. I'll give you. I'm just gonna give you 20 for all this. Is that I kind of cool? vaguely remember those, but 20 for these. Throw these yeah. on. Oh, you found that. It was, yeah. Is it in there? I thought it was cool. So 20. Okay. Yeah. What is going on, you guys? We are back with yet another video. First off, happy Easter to you guys from Kaya and I. We're gonna go on a little walk here after this video, so check out this clip right here to celebrate Kaya's Easter. This was a super fun video. Yes, we found a Caitlin Clark rookie autograph at a freaking garage sale. I couldn't believe it when we saw it there. We got a bunch of other cards along with that, but we're gonna hop into the, some of the things that we've already sold from this garage sale. We've sold over 60 items from this garage sale in the last week already. So we're gonna show you guys all the items that we sold first, and then we're gonna hop into some of the items that we got at the garage sale as well. So first off, we sold this Wii Sports game. Keep your eye out for Wii Sports games. They sell immediately on eBay within like 30 minutes for me to list. And I sold this for $23, only got it for a couple of bucks. Got this Mike Evans rookie card out of 25, sold for $50. There was tons of unique cards like this. A Michaela Williams card, 30 bucks. I mean, they're in the tournament right now in the Elite Eight, I believe. So that definitely sold quick for me. DK Metcalf, this was out of 10, a triple patch. This sold for $60. Aaron Ripkowski, again, you would never expect a fullback card, but this is a numbered to 10 card, and there's a lot of fans out there, random people that you would have no idea. Sold for 25 bucks. Got this polo vest, Ralph Lauren. Got this as a throw-in for free from the garage sale, and, they get, and it sold for $25 instantly. Another Caitlin Clark card. I wish this one was autographed as well, but it still sold for 50 bucks. Got this CD Lamb at a 25 insert for 25 bucks. It sold. Got this Rock Band Xbox guitar. Got this for $10 and it sold for 90 bucks. A lot of people stay away from those guitars because of, you know it might be tough to ship, but honestly, they're pretty easy to ship and it only costs 10 to 15 bucks through FedEx. Got this Devin Booker Excalibur rookie for 40 bucks it sold for. This Alpine car stereo, got this for $5 and it sold for 65 bucks overnight. A Carhartt jacket for 30 bucks it sold, pay $3 on that. A David Mark Montgomery RPA sold for 30 bucks. Don't sleep on this printer ink. This stuff expired in 2007 to 2009. This one 07, this one 09. And they sold for a combined forty dollars for one one buyer. They bought both of them, so don't sleep on expired printer ink. Keep your eye out for it. 
Sold another Carhartt jacket, this one a rain defense gray one for 35 bucks, paid $3. Sold an air fryer part, the basket itself sells for $25. Keep your eye out for air fryers, blenders, make sure they're Ninja models. Um, vacuums, for instance, like this Ninja blender part two. But take these apart and sell them for parts, you make more money. 25 bucks and 40, $38 for this blender part. Got this McColl Hardman RPA, sold for $30. If he wouldn't have caught that touchdown pass in the Super Bowl, we're probably talking five or 10, but luckily he got it. Got a Matt Forte Auto, 25 bucks, old school. A dual patch game used, Troy Palomalu, sold for $40. A lot of fans of him out there, Steelers fans, they ride tough. Marcus Dupree Auto, $16.50. Bill Lambeer for 20 bucks, Auto. Sean Taylor, I mean, that's a legend out of $49, $20. Anthony Edwards, Purple Shock Rookie, 30 bucks. Purple Hollow, 30 bucks. A uh, Peyton Manning out of 50, 2014 Bowman Gold Refractor, sold for $60. A Royals hat, $15. Paid two bucks a piece on any hat that you're gonna see. Julian Edelman, this sold for 40 bucks within like 10 minutes of me listing. There is not many of his cards out there on the market, so keep your eye out for those. I got a bunch of pairs of Levi's jeans for three bucks a piece. Got thirty dollars for this, so that's a great ROI. Sold this Dennis Rodman jersey for forty bucks. Paid I think five or ten on the Rodman. Uh, the Anthony Edwards, another rookie of his, thirty bucks. Spencer Steer rookie auto out of one fifty for forty dollars. Got this Sony controller for a dollar. Sold for fifteen. A Nick Bosa cracked ice prism rookie for thirty bucks is sold. C.J. Abrams, short print rookie at $23. Zach Martin, a guy that you wouldn't think would sell, but at a $125, sold for $30 for me. Got this Kate Spade, crossbody bag, sold for $50. Julian Edelman, again, $23, his card's out of $15. Got this Coach Leather Cleaning Kit, sold for $21. I think I paid $2 for this. This Magic Johnson Film out of $10, sold for $37. Clay Thompson card for $17 out of $35. A Tiger Woods numbered card out of Goodwin Champions for $14. Sean Kemp dual patch out of National Treasures sold for $35. This Josh Allen jersey card for $17. Brian Westbrook game used patch auto out of five sold for $55. Just a unique guy that you wouldn't think to find at a garage sale or in general. This Jalen Green Pink Cracked Ice Rookie for $19. Anthony Davis for $18. Numbered card out of Prism out of $49. Blake Griffin out of $10, $30. I mean, a lot of these cards I thought would be $5 or $10, and they ended up selling for $20, $30, $40. Trey Murphy. This was a redemption Panini actually sent within like four days, but it's an Asia Gold Rookie Auto out of three, and it sold for $130. Sold my first ever Pokemon card. Had no clue what this was, but it sold for $37.50. Johnny O'Brien, dude averaged four points a game in the NBA, was not good at all. But anytime you can find a 101, especially a black select one, RPA, they're going to sell. And there was an old Bucks fan out there that really wanted this and paid 60 bucks for it. Keep your eye out for these vacuum parts. Like I said, I paid 50 bucks for this whole vacuum and should be able to get 300 out of it. This is just the main canister that sold for $60 alone. Clayton Kershaw rookie sold for 20 bucks. Trey Benson rookie auto for 14. Another pair of jeans sold for 30 bucks, paid $3 on those. Scoot Henderson rookie auto out of four, sold for 40 bucks. This super cool booklet. I uh, wasn't sure who Lonnie Shelton was, but Oregon State Legend sold for 35 bucks. Had no clue what this Howard Hughes historic patch was, but it sold for $100. I honestly thought this was going to be a $5 card, but it's always smart to look these up. This Reggie Jackson and Greg Nettles sold for $19, a dual bat slash patch. And then this Pearl Washington Prism Auto sold for $20 today. So that is everything that sold from the past week from this garage sale. Let's go ahead and hop into some of the cards that haven't sold yet. I've gotten all these listed on eBay. I've been trying to list 25 items a day or so to get through them all. But let's hop into the cards next that haven't sold just to show you guys. Then we'll get into the other stuff. First up, we got this CJ Stroud rookie out of 50. I wasn't, I thought this was honestly going to be a $10 just basic leaf card. And this is actually a few hundred dollar card. So that was a huge pickup through this box. Got this Henry Davis auto out of 299. He's a top prospect for the Pirates. 
a handful of Sengun rookies that are all numbered out of 210, 149, and 99. Got this Bryce Eldridge Bowman first out of 250. A Max Clark Bowman first refractor. He's a top prospect for the Tigers. Got this Leaf eight person auto out of 10. Matas Buzelis and Scoot Henderson slash Dylan Harper are all pretty good players. I mean, they're all elite prospects, so hopefully they, one of them turn out to be a, a really good player. Got this Michael Penix auto out of 99. Again, all this came from the same garage sale lot. Another Michael Penix auto. Adrian Peterson out of 10. These are some Roger Clemens ace cards. This one's out of 10, though. Just selling that as a lot. Carlos Hyde patch auto legacy collection, Ohio State Buckeye. Got this Peyton Manning, Jason Witten, dual card out of 23. This Terrell Davis, old school card out of 50. Anthony Davis, case hit. Reggie Wayne out of 50. Like cards like this, they're sell for 20, 30, 40 bucks all day. Brian Dawkins out of 20. This is a Steve Wozniak card out of Goodwin out of 12. This is an old Kyrie Irving Panini Father's Day card out of 10. Virgil Ortiz Jr. rookie auto. Devin Leary auto out of two fit or out of 50. Got this Mitch McGarry Michigan Legend auto out of 99. Gigi Jackson auto out of 50. Got this Tupac Panini card. Adam Morrison with March Madness going on. These cards will do great. This is out of 40. Mark Schlereth. This is a Denver Bronco offensive line legend out of 99. Got this Justin Hunter. This is a one of one right here. Again, just like the Johnny O'Brien card. These, I mean, they're they're not great players. This is at a 25, but this will sell us a lot for a decent amount of money. Got this Troy Palomalu clear shots out of 10. Not sure who this is, but it's a Marvel Auto from the Falcon Winter Soldier. Paul Bissonette Auto. Another one of these relics from a museum collection, space relics. Bob Lilly Auto. Uh, this is a Michael Cooper Clear Shots Auto out of 25. Got a Nate Archibald 101, DeAndre Hopkins 101, Pat Fryermuth Rookie Auto out of 25, Jordan Hawkins Rookie Auto, a Chris Paul 101, Max Fried Auto, Jim Brown out of 10, Stefan Diggs out of 25, Luke Keekley Three Color Patch out of 49, Jeffrey Simmons Rookie Auto. National Treasures dual patch of Russell Westbrook. Got this Tobias Harris dual patch, tie-dye at a 25. Kelly Trapuca, same deal. Got this Tyler Lockett rookie at a 99 from Black Gold. Dominic Lovett, Bowman first auto, numbered. John Morant rookie patch. Chris Bosch, National Treasures jersey card. Got this dual patch of Hulk Hogan at a 49. Got this messy prism card. Out of 25. Damian Lillard, rookie out of 349. This was in like his just penny sleeve area. He didn't like this is just the crazy type of stuff you'll find going through the boxes. Brian Burns, rookie auto. Maui Ahuna, one of the top shortstops in the Giants system. Malik Hall. Stoyakovich. Geno Smith, RPA. Mark Gasol, dual patch out of 25. Sick patch on the bottom. Brandon Miller, Rookie Auto. Ray Allen, th four color patch out of 15. Lamar Jackson, Press Proof Rookie. Amiko Hartman, again, Rookie Auto. Justin Jefferson, Rookie Jersey. Franz Wagner, Penmanship Rookie Auto. A Bo Nix, Saturday Superstars. Hinden Hooker, Rookie Auto. Shea, Rookie. Danielle Hunter, Rookie Auto. Kenny Clark, Rookie Auto. Caitlin Clark, Base. A couple more Nick Bosa, Rookies. Anthony Edwards, rookie. DK Metcalf, rookie die cut out of select, out of 99. Got this Charles Haley auto. Dwayne Wade out of 25, three color patch. Jared Goff, rookie jersey, but it's also got Carson Wentz, Zeke, and Derrick Henry on it. This is a fun one. It's got Calvin Johnson, Robert Meacham, and Dwayne Bowe. There was also a handful of Jermarcus Russell cards. I'm not going to show them, but they were pretty funny to see. Jimmy Johnson, three wide. Just again, there's just such a wide variety of cards in this lot. Darren McFadden, RPA out of five. And then the best one of them all, Caitlin Clark, rookie auto. Can't beat this. It's on card. They're in the tournament right now. Hopefully they make a deep run, win the championship, and this thing keeps on going up in value. All right, moving on into some of the other stuff. 
we got not one, but five of these boxes full of cards. Again, whoever wants to come to the card shows and dig through the bargain bins, you're going to find some good stuff. We also got 12 more pairs of these Levi's jeans for three bucks a piece. We got the holy grail of starter jackets for Packers fans. This is like brand new condition. Only paid $10 for this. This Jordan brand and Paris Saint Germain collaboration, PSG, the soccer team, paid $15 for this. This sells for like $100, $150. Next, we got this vintage windbreaker jacket. It's an old 90s Nike one orange. This pink North Face jacket. Again, I paid between $3 and $5 for most of these unless said otherwise. Vintage Steelers majestic jacket from the 90s. Brand new swingman jersey of Amari Stoudemire. This is brand new with tags, the old Adidas jerseys. This Robin Yunt, old Mitchell and Ness jersey. Michael Jordan, pinstripe, vintage 90s. This is a Mitchell and Ness jersey as well. This vintage starter North Carolina jersey. It was weird that it was orange, but it's still a super cool piece. Allen Iverson, Georgetown jersey. This is a really cool one. This is a Scottie Pippen throwback champion jersey, but the great thing is this thing reverses into a red jersey. So depending on what color you wanna wear, red or black, got you covered. This Dennis Rodman one as well, just an old champion jersey. This one's super dirty, hoping that I can clean this up with like some bleach or something, but this is an old Michael Jordan Bullets jersey. This one's also pretty dirty, but still for a few bucks, an old Jerome Bettis Mitchell and Ness jersey. Hopefully we can get her cleaned up. Next, we got a bunch of hats. We got this old embroidered KU hat, St. Patrick's Day. Got this Kyle Busch M&M's hat. An old Cavaliers hat. Milwaukee Brewers. Got a Milwaukee Bucks hat, another old Cavs one, and then a camo Cavs one. We paid two bucks a piece on all these hats, so we should be able to quadruple our money on most of them. Next, we'll move on to some of these purses and handbags. I got this green Kate Spade one, this cheetah print coach purse, and then this apple print coach purse as well. Pink Kate Spade handbag, a black Kate Spade purse, this Michael Kors purse is brand new and still has an MSRP tag of almost 500 bucks. It doesn't sell anywhere near that, but still a super cool piece. And lastly, my favorite bag is this Disney Lounge Fly. It's a Minnie Mouse USA theme one. Moving into some of these shoes, we got some old Jordan 1 metallic golds, a pair of Air Max 95s that are brand new. I paid around five to $10 per pair. Outside of this one, I paid 34. Some Ugg boots and a pair of Jordan 9s. Some Air Max 90s and also a pair of Nike Core Vision Lows. You'd be surprised, but these Tony Llama boots sell really well and I only paid five bucks for them. Another pair of these Nike Core Vision Lows. Also got some brand new Sparkle Gold Uggs. These are one of my favorite things to find at garage sales. You will be super surprised, but these Sony Cyber Shots and Canon Power Shots sell for a ton of money. I got all six of these for 20 bucks. And even if you can't test them, either one thing, sell them for parts, you'll still make good money. Or just go on Amazon and buy like the $7 Castar batteries and just plug them in and try them. I haven't got my batteries in for these yet, but these three I already tested. They all work and they sell between $70 and $120 a piece. Again, I paid $20 bucks for all these and these should sell for the same. Along with that Wii game I showed you earlier, we got a Wii. And then on top of that, we also got this Apple Watch Series 2. This is a Nike edition and it works great. Only paid $20 on the Apple Watch and we paid $10 on the Wii. Got this Sony voice recorder. These don't sell for a ton, but for a dollar or two, I mean, it's great profit. Also got this Disney Hakuna Matata necklace. This is just a fun piece. It should net me around 10, 15 bucks and he just threw it in for free. This is a brand new Logitech keyboard with a mouse. Keep your eye out for these. These will sell all day for 30 to $40 for you. Only paid a couple bucks for this. Again, keep your eyes out for this expired printer ink. It sells really quickly and it sells for a lot of money and you should be able to get it for under $2 all day at garage sales. Keep your eye out for certain types of crimpers and curling irons. There's certain brands that sell really well. Only paid a couple bucks for this, should get around 20 or so for it. Also got this old pair of Beats headphones. They don't sell for a lot, but when you can get it for super cheap, they sell pretty quickly. With the Apple Watch, we also got this Fitbit. We got this original iPod Shuffle. I've never seen one of these before, so pretty cool to see how far Apple's come in the past 20 years. And then also we got this Blendjet. For some reason, this got taken down and flagged for my eBay, but I might just use it myself. Next, we got this Ninja Air Fryer. Like I said, I already sold the main part, but take these apart, sell them for parts. I'll probably just end up tossing this large one just because it makes you no money once you end up paying for the shipping. 
but you make so much money just parting things out nowadays. Also, we got this basketball. This is a Wilson NCAA Final Four edition. With the Final Four coming up, this will sell really well, and it's just a really good basketball in general. I only paid a couple bucks for this. We got this Singer Serger machine. I know this is crazy, but these sell for like $100, $120 if they're working, and we only paid $10 for this. They're heavy and they're a pain to ship, but for that kind of profit, we'll do that all day. Next, this was not from that same garage sale. This is a Facebook Marketplace pickup. If you follow me on Instagram, it's just Tucker Styles. That's my name, I'll have it below in the description. But you would have saw a picture of this. This is a team sign Baltimore Ravens helmet. I've noticed a few of the signatures on it. I know I saw Todd Heap, Joe Flacco, Ray Rice, Ray Lewis. I'm gonna get this certified. His little brother ended up getting all these signatures like 10, 15 years ago and they just aren't into memorabilia or sports much anymore. But I only paid 50 bucks for this, so this could easily turn into like a $600 to $1,000 helmet if it, if it gets certified. Always buy these Dyson vacuums. I can't say it enough. I'm going to take this whole thing apart. I've done it before with the same exact model. Look it up on YouTube how to disassemble them. You make three, dollars $400 off a $20 to $50 investment, and it doesn't take that long to take it apart and list it. They sell all day long. If you just look up Dyson DC07, you'll see yourself with how many items have sold in the last 24 to 48 hours. It's got an insane sell-through rate, and it's just a great item to always pick up when you see it. Another large item I'm going to put right here, but I picked up a Bud Light pool table lamp. I know they're a pain to ship, but again, for this kind of profit, it's just something that I'm willing to do and only paid $50 for this at another garage sale. All in all, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Happy Easter again. Thank you guys for almost getting me to 200 subscribers. I wouldn't be surprised if by the time this is uploaded that we do hit that number. I can't wait to get to 500 and then 1,000 and just keep growing this thing. The next two videos should be card shows in Oklahoma City again, and then also McPherson, Kansas. So those will be some fun shows. We got some more fun content coming along. Should be uploading every two weeks or so. Lastly, I've never done a whatnot stream before, but with the amount of cards that we picked up from this show, and I'm not gonna be able to list every single one of them, let me know if you guys would turn into a whatnot stream. It would be fun to list a bunch of 10 to 30, 40, $50 cards, and maybe even do a banger like a Caitlin Clark or something like that. But just comment down below if you guys would tune into a whatnot stream, and then we'll set that up and, and put one together. Again, appreciate you guys tuning into this video. Please like and subscribe. It would mean a ton to me and Kaya, and you guys have a happy Easter. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace.